In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a scatter plot in Microsoft Excel 365. So here we have our data set. I have 1,470 rows, each corresponding to an employee at a fictional company. And what I'm interested in knowing is what is the relationship between the years that these individuals have been at my company and the years that they've been in their current role. And I'm going to visualize that relationship using a scatter plot. So I have my data formatted as a table. And what that allows me to do is just come up here until my cursor turns into this little black down arrow. I'm going to click and hold. And you can see that I've selected my data, but not my column title. And then I'm just going to drag across until I have the data for both and release my mouse button. Now I'm going to come up to the insert tab. And in the charts group, I'm going to use insert scatter plot and choose my first option here. And there you go. Now I have a scatter plot. Fantastic. Now the first thing we need to do probably is add the ax actual axis label so that we know which axis corresponds to which data series. So to do that first we can come up to add chart element here in the design tab, come down to axis titles and add both the primary horizontal and the primary vertical. But then you can see that, and it's not always obvious here in Excel, which axis corresponds to which series of data. So something I can do real quick to kind of try and figure that out is I can just come up here to my first data series here and I can just click the drop down. I can look at the range of values. So I can see that it starts at zero and goes to 40. And if I look at my data here, I can see them on my X axis, I start at zero and I go to 40. Whereas on my Y axis, I start at zero and I only go to 20. So clearly my X axis is my years at company variable. So I'm gonna click in here into my axis title and I'm just going to rename it years at company. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my y-axis. And then, of course, I can add a title if I'm interested in doing so. Now, one more thing that's often useful when doing scatter plots in Excel is to add a trend line or a regression line. So to do that, I can once again come up to Add Chart Element and come down to Trend Line, select Linear. And now you can see I have a trend line here. And let's say I want to make this a little more visible, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to come up over here to Format Trend Line. Or if this dialog box isn't open, I can right click and go to Format Trend Line. So here we are. Now I want to make it red, so I'm going to click on my little paint bucket here, change the color to red. I'm going to change the width to 2.5 and tab out. Now it's a little bit more visible. And now under the Trend Line Options button here, I can choose to display the equation for this line if I'm interested in that and the R squared value. I'm just going to go ahead and select these, come to the Home tab, increase the font, make them bold. I'll drag these down to where they're a little easier to see. And there you go. So that's how you create a scatter plot in Microsoft Excel. I'd also like to point out that what we just did was a simple linear regression. This is our regression equation, and we have an R squared value, so this is also a very simple statistical model that we just built simply using the visualization tools in Microsoft Excel. If you like what you see, please feel free to click the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And until next time, happy learning.